we're going to just do a little teaching video. This was an interesting finding. This gentleman is going to tell a story here a little bit. A week ago, seven days ago, your son bumped you, kind of headbutted you, hit, hit you in the face with his head. Is that right? Right. And so, uh, but shortly afterwards, you started to have some numbness. Well, actually, when he, I got hit and uh, my eyeball very, you know, hurt a lot. So he hit you right on your eyeball, eyeball right over the eyeball. Right at that moment, I feel hurt on my eyeball and uh, at this area and like right here. Okay. That's the, the most, uh, yeah. Like, okay. And later on, um, like the second day and the third day, I had to go see, I see it like I uh, have a show, a uh, 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 a mark right here. Yeah, so you had a black eye started the second and, second or third day. Right. And half of my I realized that half of my face uh, it had numb and cold. Yeah. Numb and cold. So show us where that numbness that coldness and numb feeling is on your face. Show me where it starts and stops. Okay, it's right here. Half of my nose, half of my mouth, and even my gum. Yeah. It's numb too. My gum it's numb too. Right. From here. Here. Okay, just like my, my my hand. Like right there. That area numb and cold. Okay. Yeah. So so like we talked about, I think the infraorbital nerve that comes out right there um, was was struck and I think that nerve has a neuropraxia and I think it's gonna probably take anywhere, you know, a month or two maybe for it to heal up. But um, hopefully it will come back. But I had just never seen a neuropraxia of the infraorbital nerve from, from a direct blow like that and so you and I talked about it, and you're okay with this being on YouTube and being as a training video, that sort of thing. So, yeah, sure. So, okay. all right, good enough. So, all right, thanks so much for letting us take this video.